Um, here's a short clip about using the bellows uh, for Irish box playing. Um, when you first start playing a C sharp D or BC box or any other kind of box, uh, you despair of the sometimes fast in and out movements that are required uh, and find them very difficult without the whole instrument flapping all over the place and without clacking noises and a uh, great deal of effort for the left arm. So here's a few hints for you maybe um, when playing. Uh, this obviously suits probably best the uh, one strap technique which a lot of Irish players use. I rest the um, treble cabinet on my left thigh and I have one strap holding the box in position. If you use uh, two straps and play in a standing position or if your box is not on your leg, um, some of this may not apply quite so much but the general principles I think will be helpful and some people of course put their especially skinny people <coughs> of which I'm not one put their uh, treble cabinet outside the left thigh and this gives you very uh, good stability because you have something to press the right end of the cabinet against but uh, unless you are very skinny uh, it's not in my opinion a great ergonomic position for the left arm Anyway, uh, the key, I think, to, especially in the early stages, to using the bellows efficiently is to, in playing Irish music, is to keep them on what I call a tight rein. Don't let them get too far away from you. And also, not to open them straight out like this, but in fact to use at least one edge of the bellows, keep it closed and use it as a kind of a hinge. Now, in fact, what I do is I tend to keep the bottom edge pretty well closed and just open the top edge like that. In fact, I also curve my left hand round a bit away from me so that uh, you have a concave curve here and the back of the bellows are more open than the front and this has a number of advantages. Now for playing fast in and out passages uh, using this technique very little bellows movement is required, whereas if you're out here, it's much more difficult. It can be done, but it's much more difficult. This is why when you see a lot of Irish players playing, it seems like the, not all of them, but a lot of players, it seems like the bellows hardly open. In fact, they are opening a bit more at the back here, but what you see in front is very little movement. The other handy thing about that technique is that if you ever run out of air, gas tank at the back and you can close the back. So that's basically it. Um, the situation changes a bit if you want to play extremely loudly or if you want to use the basses. The basses of course use a, quite a bit of air. If you play a tune like this without basses Uh, the bellows don't open very far. If you use block basses or chords, the basses will move further out. And if you want to play extremely loud, of course, you will be. Uh, you should watch clips of uh, people like Tony McMahon, who. Uh, I've never heard him in the flesh, but I'm sure he plays extremely loudly. Uh, often has the bellows very far extended and using a lot of bass. And, but you can, however, even using this technique of keeping one edge of the bellows closed, you can still play loud uh, with basses or without. So that's, uh, that's today's hint. Uh, try it and see if it works for you.